Hi everyone, thank you so much for your um, awesome work yesterday. You're all super familiar with the clip. You did really, really well with your Rick task. So today what we're going to do, we're going to start thinking, we're going to, to tell the story of um, the film, A Cloudy Lesson. So we're going to tell the story. Now what's really important before we start writing a narrative, it's really important that we get what happens in the story in the correct order so what we're going to do we're going to watch the clip but we're going to be looking for important things that happen important events key events we could call them that happen in the story so let's watch the clip uh find those key events and then i'll tell you what we're going to do next okay so we're going to watch the clip now right Okay, so we're trying to think of those key events, the key things that happen in the story. So the old man and the boy are in the clouds. So I'm going to pause there and then I'm going to write down the old man and boy are in the clouds. Okay, because that's my first key event that's set in my scene for my story. Okay, and in this bit, the old man He's showing the little boy what to do. He looks the little boy, it's your turn. So there is another key event. The old man shows the boy, the boy what to do. And what's really important here, it tells us the old man's probably been doing this for a long time because he seems to be a little bit of an expert. And the little boy tries. But he can't do it. So that's another important part of the story the little boy tries but he can't do it okay okay so oh this is the this is the problem in the story this is the um the peak of the story the cloud maker, it breaks. So there could be, we're going to need to do some problem solving after this. The cloud maker breaks, that's my next event. This could be a key event. Absolutely. The little boy fixes the cloud maker and makes a star shape. So there's the next key event. The next important thing that happens in the story. And then our final event of the story is that they make different shapes together so the problem has been solved okay so we've got six key events and they are the old man and the boy are in the sky the man shows the boy what to do the boy tries to make a cloud but can't do it and as you can see just there we've got a, a boy sentence already amazing the cloud maker breaks the boy fixes the cloud maker and makes a star-shaped cloud. They make different clouds together. So we have six key events that we're going to write about or plan to write about today. Okay, so today there's two tasks. Your first task is to draw six pictures. Now each picture is going to show one of the key events, one of the important events or things that have happened in the story. And we know what those events are because we've already worked those out. You're going to make sure that you leave space at the side because then we're going to be able to note down some ideas um, that we can later use in our writing next to it. So your first task is to draw six sketches. They don't need to be complicated. Six pictures to show what's happening throughout the story.
So, as you can see, uh, I've written my yellow at the top, which is to plan a narrative. So we're just going to try and get some some great ideas down, some maybe some sentences that we can build on in the future, S some ideas that will help us when we write our complete narrative. And as you can see, I've written my yellow at the top, which is to plan a narrative, because that's what we're doing today. And then I've stuck my pictures down the left hand side of my book, which means I've got plenty of space next to it to write my ideas. Pictures and um, which each picture shows a part of the story. And I want you to just write your own sentence next to each picture. Now, the boy and the old man are in the sky. I want you to have a think um, and, you know, try put a little bit more detail in. So when we look at our plan, it's really, really clear about what happens. OK, so maybe the first one, we could put the old man and the boy travelled to the cloud maker station. Now, straight away, that tells me exactly what's happening and where it is. So for each one, I want you to go through and tell me what's happening in that event. In I want a sentence. Um, it doesn't have to be, um, we're not retelling the story yet, we're just saying what's happening in each key event. So um, maybe I could put the old man was a cloud inventor and he wanted to show his grandson how to do it. So I'm just expanding. Rather than initially our key event was the old man showed the boy what to do, we're just expanding on that. So we've got a really clear plan. So next one, um, I just want you to write what happens. So the little boy tried, but he, he, he couldn't do it, could he? So the little boy tried really hard. The boy tried really hard to make a cloud, but he just couldn't succeed, okay? So what I'm doing here, I'm... Um, I'm being really, really clear. So what's happening in each picture? Suddenly, suddenly the cloud maker snapped. So, and so on and so, so forth. So your job is to go through and to, um, for each each picture that you've drawn, I want you to tell me what's happening, okay? And I want a really nice sentence about what's happening um, and a little bit, just a little bit of detail. So when we do our narrative, we've got a foundation sentence. We've got a basic sentence that we can build upon and work upon. So good luck. Can't wait to see your plans. Anna, see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.